Well guys, you are not going to believe what's behind this flap. Let's take a look. Well, hey guys, it's day two of our four day Wyoming trip. And today we are at the Grand Teton National Park. We're on a mission today to do two um, lakes, Bradley Lake and Taggart Lake. It's a six mile loop. And so we're excited to get started and share these amazing views with you here in the Tetons. Let's go. Let's go. We just split off from the Taggart Lake Trail. We're on the Bradley Lake Trail. We will catch back up to the Taggart Lake Trail uh, in about a mile. We are about a mile and a quarter in so far on the trail and it is has amazing views. We're a little bit uh, unsettled. unsettled here because we're the only ones on this trail right now that we've seen and, and there are lots of animals out here making noises in the brush and we know there are bears. So once again, we're a little, little concerned about the bears but it's, it's uh, a really nice trail. at Bradley Lake. Just gorgeous. Look at that reflection. Oh my goodness. That is just stunning. Sorry for the jostle. That, that's, that's amazing. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update on where we're at. We're about three and a half-ish miles into our six-mile loop. Um, we had some amazing views early of the, of the Tetons. We are going through a nice evergreen thick section of trail now. We stopped earlier back at um, Bradley Lake. Show you some video of that. Just stunning it reflections. Beautiful. It was amazing. And we're headed towards Taggart Lake. Um, we'll hopefully get you some videos of that as well when we get there. So we made it to Taggart Lake. We're going to stop and have a snack and then we're going to explore the shoreline and share some videos with you.
Well, this is a little frustrating, but this is how <laughs> life is sometimes. I have lost my phone. Somewhere out in the forest is my iPhone. We think it may have fallen out when we took the rock photo of us sitting by the lake. So we're gonna backtrack and hopefully find it. It's not like we can just call it. There's no signal out here. So um, we're just praying that God uh, leads us back to where it's at. We find it and that this detour is for a reason. Hey bear. Well, we backtracked about half a mile. Probably. Probably about a half mile back to where I had last used the iPhone and we couldn't find it anywhere. We searched all over the shores and just could not find it. And then we found it. The iPhone is back. And you guys are not going to believe where the iPhone was. It was in my pocket. <laughs> it, was, it was stuffed behind my beanie and I couldn't feel it at all. And then there it was. So yay, so yay. <laughs> we're excited that we found it. And just goes to show you that we all do dumb things. And Paula is keeping score. <laughs> And today the score is one. Jimmy's Jimmy. winning on the dumb things. <laughs> Jimmy won, Paula zero. Uh, hopefully by the end of the day, uh, she's ahead. No way. But but they're not catastrophic mistakes. <laughs> well, we finished our hike. It was about seven and a half miles for us because we did some back and forth kind of stuff out there. You know, looking for lost iPhones and things like that. Yes, that. And uh, we had a nice picnic with the mountains in the view. It was just a gorgeous hike. You know, it's one of those things where you, it's hard to say what's the best hike you've ever been on. We've been on a lot over 27 years that we've been married. And so I don't know that I would say this is the best hike I've ever been on. But for our, it, a hike that's only about six miles normally, normally, I don't know that you could get a better payoff for, for that amount of effort that you put out as far as the mileage. Beautiful views the entire way. Um, we had great weather today. Uh, beautiful views of the Tetons. Saw a couple stunning lakes, and uh, just a, it was just a really really nice hike. And we um, didn't see any bears. We didn't see any bears. <laughs> I would give it probably a top ten um, hike of ours I think for so. sure. Really really nice. What's up next, Paula? Well, we are going to drive through the Tetons just a bit and see um, what kind of views we can see from the road, and then we're going to take you into Jackson. Take you into Jackson and show you around there as well, and then from there. We've got one final thing we want to show you today. It's kind of been a surprise that we are excited to unveil and show you, and that'll be a little later on today. Let's go, guys. Let's go. After leaving the trailhead parking lot, we finished our drive on the 21-mile Teton Park Road, which gives you views of and access to Jenny Lake and Jackson Lake with their associated hiking trailheads, wonderful vistas of the Snake River, and plenty of picnic areas, scenic pullouts, and viewing areas with new and unique foregrounds for the stunning backdrop of the Tetons that are always looming large in your sight. The route travels from Moose to Jackson Lake Junction and you should always use caution, especially at night, because it's common for large animals such as elk, bison, and mule deer to be on the road. We consider driving the Teton Park Road a true must do for anyone visiting the area as the views and attractions will not disappoint you. It is especially nice for those who want to see the beauty of the Grand Teton National Park but don't have the physical health or time to do any of the park hikes. So give yourself a couple of hours to drive and enjoy this top 10 scenic American road. And for us, following the mapped route back to Jackson led us straight to some much appreciated treasure, ice cream at Jackson Drug. Well, hey guys, we got some ice cream at Jackson Drug. It's a historic soda fountain and we ate a lot of it. It was so loud over there, we weren't able to share that experience with you. So we came across this little park in Town Square and are now enjoying the remainder of our two scoops each. What did you get, Paula? I got cowboy coffee. It is I, delicious. I got chocolate, which is always delicious. <laughs> Guys, you are not going to believe what's behind this flap. Let's take a look. It's our 
home for tonight. <laughs> this is our home for tonight. We're glamping. We're so excited. It's our first time. This is our first time glamping. We're getting the first look at this place ourselves. This is Get called Arabian Nights. Arabian Nights. So cute. It is super cool. This is like the coolest tent I've ever seen in my life. Give you just a quick look at it. It even has its own private restroom. <laughs> Pretty cool. I found this tent on Airbnb. It's in Irwin, Idaho, about an hour and 15 minutes from Jackson, Wyoming. So it's not too far to head back into um, Grand Teton National Park. They have four tents to choose from, four different themed tents, and we chose this one because we just like the design the best. Well, hey guys, we wanted to show you what it looked like at night when the lights are on in here. It's a really beautiful, beautiful tent. <laughs> We also discovered that the bathroom actually has a working door for some privacy. <laughs> well, today's mission took us on a hike at the Grand Teton National Park where we did the Bradley Lake and Taggart Lake loop, about seven and a half miles for us. Then we got in our vehicle, drove around another loop and looked at some other sites that we shared with you guys as well. After that, of course, we went to Jackson, had some ice cream, just looked around a little bit. We would have liked to have looked around a little bit more, but super busy today. Uh, but we did get to see just a little bit of Jackson. Maybe we can explore again later in the week. Um, then, of course, we retired here to our glamping tent <laughs> where we're spending the night and getting up bright and early tomorrow to head back to the Grand Teton National Park. And, of course, we'll bring you along for that mission as well. That's all for us. What's your mission? Good morning, Mr. Deer. How are you today? Or are you Mrs. Deer? Not sure. I don't know my deer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know my deer. <laughs> but I don't know my other deer. <laughs> you almost knocked me down. I didn't even touch you. <laughs> you almost knocked me down. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Where you at? I'm back here. Where you at? Here I am. Hello there. 